All right, guys. Um, I thought I'd put out a video because I get asked a lot about Bitcoin. Uh, my my social group, my you know my network group, my accountability group, my family, my friends, um, people inside the platform, people I work with, always asking me about what I think about Bitcoin. And although I'm not trading Bitcoin yet, okay, um, I am a technical trader. And the great thing about being a technical trader is you know, there's many, many people out there that say charting is rubbish, you know, charting isn't important and technical analysis isn't important. Um, but that's how I make a living. <laughs> and when I'm out there using technical analysis to develop uh, an edge in the market and pull money out of the market using those technical skills, you know, there's there's not really a lot that anyone can say to me that, that sort of makes me feel uh, put off <laughs> by technical analysis. So I am a technical trader. And the great thing about technicals is, uh, regardless of what people think about these patterns being random, they're not entirely random. The, the same psychology drives the markets at the end of the day. And if psychology is driving the markets, then we can predict psychology uh, over time, there's certain patterns that happen frequently, and if we can capitalize on those by building rules and entries and exits around those moves, well, then that's how we earn money. That's that's how we generate profit over time. So, looking at Bitcoin, and I know there's lots and lots of people who are, you know, are saying it's going to blow, it's going to crash, it's, and, and what have you. Um, so, I thought I'd just give my pure you know, technical analysis, uh, technical analysis advice on what I see happening with this pair. And I'm going to make a prediction to let you th know what I think will happen just based on historical patterns and, and historical events. So, as you can see, we're really, really putting in this, this coiling uh, wedge pattern. Okay, this uh, compression pattern, if you if you want to call it compression pattern, and it's becoming really really tight. It's really coiling up tight now. Now what we see here is a breakout. We technically see we typically see a breakout. Um, the the tighter it coils up, the bigger the breakout. Now, what I will say is this typically does see a little sell off. This typical this pattern does typically see a little sell off. So what we normally see is where's the arrow we typically see if you imagine each of these uh, equal lows down here smashing down a door so we hit the support level okay we pull right back up the support level becomes a little bit weaker we smash back down becomes a little bit weaker we don't pull back as far we push down smash again it becomes a little bit weaker and then so on and so on and so on and eventually we see a little sell-off um and then uh, we see that break to the downside. So we see a little sell-off. But just looking at previous structure on this pair, um, I'm predicting, because if I'm going to zoom out in a minute, and you're going to see that this is just a, a little wedge, a little wedge pattern in the grand scheme of things and how this market behaves. So what I'm going to predict is actually a sell-off, uh, a hold around 4,000, okay? And then what I predict is we're going to see... Uh, a, a continuation up okay and I'm going to go through why I think that and, and where I think that's going to so if we just scroll back in time what you're going to see uh, happen previously here let's just thicken this up a little bit we had a very similar situation um, right here okay so for instance we pushed up okay we saw the big drop off now and then we started to see this um, compression pattern here right so we had this compression pattern setting up or you know whatever you want to call this wedge flag whatever it is we was we had this compression pattern we were coiling 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 now what you typically see is a sell-off and then an explosion to the upside so as you can see look it became really really tight this compression pattern here right we saw this real tight wedge we saw the drop off now interestingly um the drop the sell-off went down from eight, uh, 780 down to uh, 465. So 25, 30%, it dropped 25%, let's just say 25%, okay? And then 
what we saw is an explosion to the upside. Now, where did it go to next? Okay, bearing in mind that we were uh, at 77, uh, 779, we dropped 25% and then we exploded to the upside. Where did we go next? Well, we went all the way up to uh, 1141. Now, that's almost... You know that's almost a almost a fifty that's almost a fifty percent right and then we came back down previous structure resistance became support as you can see right here just drawing a little arrow for the support level previous structure resistance became support T typically what happens and then we carry on okay now what happens next well you can see we continued up 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 let's just come down to this pattern here, right? We pushed up, we then put in this new pattern, okay? Which happens to be a, uh, a, a, a compression pattern. We see a drop off, okay? Where do we drop off to? We were at uh, 2980 and we dropped off to 1830. Uh, so again, another 20 to 25% drop Okay, so that little sell-off before exploding up. Now, where did we go to? Where did we explode to? All the way up to 5,000, which is 50%. All right, see what's happening here now? These psychological patterns present themselves. They happen over and over and over again. Okay, we, uh, we then continue up. And then, obviously, we, we just continued up and we had the, the massive... Uh, sell off here, right? So we we sold off, and now if we just zoom out, look, let's just let's just zoom out on the on the bigger scheme of things, right? This is just another wedge pattern. So if we're predicting the same situation to happen, we've had this sell off here, right? Had this sell off. We're putting in the compression pattern. If we're predicting a a twenty percent, say twenty percent uh, drop. We can predict we're at what 6,500. Uh, we could predict to push down 25%, might put us down at 4,000, 4, and then we're expecting a 50%. So that means if we're trading at 6,500 and we're predicting that similar move to what's happened recently, well, then we could see anything up to 28, 29, 30,000, um, which is why. I'm predicting that this move is going to be short-lived. If we're likely to break to the downside, we're going to see a little sell-off, and then we're going to push up all the way up to high 20s uh, on Bitcoin. So that's my prediction. Again, it's pure technical analysis. It's what I use in the markets that I know inside out. This is what I do. This is how I earn money out of the markets every single day. Um, so that's my analysis on Bitcoin. Let's just see... What happens? Remember this date on this video and uh, and come back to it and let me know what your thoughts were. I'd be interested to see what your thoughts are. Comment below. And if you're interested in learning technical analysis like this that allows you to develop a trade plan, to put together these rules, to capture these frequent moves that happen in the market and build rules around those so you can generate profits out of these moves that aren't random, uh, regardless of what many people think, then go over to Tier 1 Trading. It's a 14-day free trial. You can come in, check out the stuff we've got on there, then go over to uh, then go over to the link in the description. You can go over your free 14-day trial, or it's going to cost you a dollar. Uh, no risk, no fit, no no um contracts, auto charges, and all that rubbish. You just come in, get a feel for it. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in there. So take care.